Kitty, how you doing? I'm hanging in there. Wonderful. I had to tweet something this morning. I had to tweet a tech confession. And every day I tweet a tech confession. Yeah. My tech confession this morning is, I do not have a gadget to help me navigate traffic. So if I sound a little out of breath, people, <laughs> it is because you were... I sprinted. <laughs> I was planning to stall. <laughs> and, and I thank you so much for having my back like that. Because um, it doesn't matter how technologically um, adept you yeah. are. Uh, <laughs> traffic is traffic. <laughs> traffic, is traffic. <laughs> and good morning to everyone on their way to school. Good morning to all the parents that are taking their kids to school as responsible parents. I'm so pleased that you're joining us this morning because today we're going to be talking about Google Voice. You've heard of Google Voice before. It's not new. What? Google Voice. Like Google. The last thing I heard about Google was Chrome. Which I now um, use, I find it to be a excellent. pretty good browser, or is it a search engine? No, it's a browser. It's Chrome a browser, a, right? A, 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 a search browser. engine is Google. Has it's Google. Some. Google is also a search engine because right. you know okay. Google is a brand that does a lot of things like Yahoo and stuff. But I'm 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 sure that you've heard lots of other things about Google. You just don't want to reveal it to the audience to make me look good this morning. Thank you so much. I, I, I've not never know. heard of Google Voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Google Voice. The novel thing about Google Voice, because it's been around for a while, um, it allows you to forward numbers to your Google Voice number or vice versa. So if you have a home phone, a cell phone, um, an office phone, you can just give everyone your Google Voice number and then it will automatically and dynamically dial whichever phone you're at, that kind of a thing. So it, it yes. really is revolutionary. Okay, go that over. One more time? Yeah. So you have a Google Voice Google number. Google Voice, right. Mm -hmm and you give out that number instead of your home number, your cell number, your office number. And people can dial that one number, and if you're not at your computer, it will automatically redirect your call to your cell phone, or to your office phone, or to your home phone, or you can program it so that it doesn't dial you between certain hours. Let's say you absolutely don't want to take calls while you're sleeping, or you're in a meeting, it can screen your calls for you. It can give you your voicemail messages as text, so it translates the voice to text. It's debatable as to how good that is. It allows you to manage your voicemail on the screen, like email messages, so it's really cool. That is, that's... Nice. Okay. But what's cooler about Google Voice is that Google Voice is now integrated into Gmail. So when you have your Chrome browser or any browser open and you have your Gmail open, you'll see in the left hand corner Google Voice and you can dial right from there. So right. if you have contacts in your Google contacts and you want to dial your mother in Boston, <coughs> hi mom, you can just type in her name or type in her number within the browser and the computer makes that call for you free of cost to the USA and Canada. Okay, so I don't have a number. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Google voice account yet. Uh, that's what I want you to explain to me. How do I gain access to this 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 thing that yeah. you're now springing on Google me? Google.com slash voice. I have, you can sign up. You already have a Gmail account. I have so three Gmail accounts. Right, right, so there's probably a link in there. But I must admit, Google Voice is only for US users. But that's okay. <laughs> Terps. It's not like yeah, they send I, out I, the I, census. I, 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 my teeth. It's not like they send out the census bureau to check exactly where you live. So if you put in your auntie's address in foreign, <laughs> they're gonna give you access. See now that 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 is <clears throat> where technology and me I have a real big issue. I'm sure you've heard me talk about and mm -hmm. chastise um iTunes. Yes, yes. Because my feeling is that tagging. if you are offering the sale of music mm -hmm. for people fans are not restricted to, to the US. only certain geographic parameters yes. fans are global mm -hmm. and i'm sure that sean paul shaggy mm -hmm. and chris brown also mm -hmm. values the fact that that kid who's going to school with his mom right now would like to buy his song yes. on itunes yes this stupid geotagging mm -hmm. It's ridiculous wherein if I don't have an, a US address, I can't buy my favorite artist song mm -hmm. on, on iTunes. But here's the thing. I would have stopped selling my music yeah. on iTunes. As we depart from the topic, let me play devil's advocate for a moment. It's not iTunes that's a problem, but the artists that didn't give iTunes the rights to sell outside of the US through their record label. Are the you telling me 
Missy. <laughs> the artists are Dutch, that short sighted. I don't think it's the artists themselves. I think it's the record label have not brokered deals with iTunes. I think that the market outside of the US is so small that unfortunately the labels don't negotiate See, those deals. That no, that thinking has to change. I agree, I agree. Stop thinking of, of it. Every fan is valuable. Mm -hmm. And, and every money is money, so let's do it. Did they see the audience in front of Chris Brown at, at some at you um? See it. Question is, how many of those Jamaicans actually buy music versus pirate music, which is a whole other story. But hold on, if you make buying it mm -hmm. more accessible, I'm sure there are. I love my Jamaican people. I'm sure I there are some honest people out there Jamaica. who would buy. Yes, some as in three. Um, I love my Jamaican <laughs> people, but <laughs> <laughs> culturally. Culturally, we that are one. indoctrinated. My brother Anansi. We are indoctrinated. My brother Anansi and Tukuma. If there's a way to get around it, we're going to get around it. Not because we want to, but because we feel that we have to. Like, if we beat the system, we're somehow smarter, better. I, 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 I'm thinking that I may have to hold court with Jeremy Harding and Don and a couple of people and, and see if we can. I'm wondering if it's, is it a bank issue? Is it a fear of not being able to pay yes it's a fair of, of not being able to collect when you sell outside of the united states where they have very sophisticated collection a banking system, system right right that is harder to collect your funds it takes longer to collect your funds and therefore it's not worth it but so why has not itunes set up something with a bank two banks it can't so, be that so difficult i'm jamaican so you know what i've done in fine Jamaican style, I've told iTunes that I live in New York City. You see, I yeah, yeah. shouldn't resort to that level of generalship. <laughs> no, my, my auntie, my, I visit my auntie often after. So anyway, we, 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 we digress <laughs> because I, I, I got, I'm so upset about the iTunes thing. But you're saying that currently your mm -hmm. Google Voice mm -hmm. is not available to you outside of the US, technically. But as I said, I used Google Voice to call my mom the other day. It was great. Because you set up a? A US address. Now, one of the limitations of Google Voice, of course, you can only call from the US, and um, those watching the video can see me put up those finger quotations to the US for free. But if you use Skype, which is, of course, the benchmark of all right. voice over IP systems, yeah. uh, you can call Skype to Skype to anyone in the world free of cost. There are no restrictions. Skyping. You need to get with that Skype thing. Both Google Voice and Skype are cross platform PC and Mac mm -hmm. so people like us can use it as opposed to Vizio and a couple of others that are PC based only <coughs> okay. which don't make sense. Right. Skype though if it is that you're calling a non-Skype number mm -hmm. you have to pay. Same thing oh. with Google Voice. Hey Danae looks pretty. Um, same thing with, with Google Voice if you're calling right. an international number you have to pay but believe you me when I say that the call quality on Google Voice the call quality on Skype are worth it and let me put in a plug here. If you have the new Digicel 4G modem, you can dial over the internet. Digicel is loving you right now. Oh, they? oh, they are, they are. I like Digicel. <laughs> you know, I've been going right around the island talking about this modem thing, and it's been working like a charm for me, so I'm, I'm grateful as well. But with the internet, using voice over IP really and truly, you don't need your phone as much as before. The mm. only thing is with Google Voice in Jamaica, with Skype in Jamaica, you are tethered to a computer because neither of them work on mobile phones here. Oh, 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 oh. But if you're in the States, they work on your mm. mobile phone, which brings me to the question, is Google Voice going to replace the phone network where people can make internet-to-internet -internet calls mm. without ever really dialing a, a landline number? Is the landline now archaic, anachronistic, outdated, done its time a thing of the past <laughs> i think that the landline is, is getting the way of the dinosaur in in our lifetime you even have a home phone i do actually oh you do um it hardly I'm ever rings i think i'm now thinking that i'm <coughs> wasting my money when i got my first bill and i did not have a single call dialing out and it occurred to me that it never rang I said, you know, it's about time for me to give up. This and landline. I think I'm about to ameliorate myself from my landline. But one of the problems with not having a landline is you need proof of address for everything that you do um, in the physical world. Whereas you don't need proof of address and you're setting up your Google account or your iTunes account. Like, oh. So that is an right. advantage. Well, so Google Voice, get it, it's free. Um, but as I said, the only way to get it is to um, live in the US. Finger some... quotations again. <sighs> Uh, we won't go back there, but uh, folks, if you have okay. questions, re-Google Voice and re-all of that stuff, um, she's going to be with us until close to 9 o'clock, so you can text us right now. Somebody's already texting, saying that Googly Voice, <laughs> Googly, 
Google Voice rocks. So uh -huh. um, we have more comments. I should also mention that we're going to be posting this on the blog. You can watch the video version of our little exchange here on the blog, trivial on fame.blogspot.com. And don't forget to email us. Um, Leave his fame FM at mm -hmm. All right, so uh, send us your text now with your questions, your queries, your comments. And Got 10 minutes? Get technified with Tech Time on Tuesdays in Trivial Pursuit with Francois and me, Carlette, on the Blazing 95 FM.